life is richer if you um, have a, a broad exposure to, to culture. I don't think you necessarily have to get that the way I did, which was to spend more years than most people do who are headed for scientific careers uh, in English literature and journalism and other, other areas. I think it can be done concurrently. But uh, it does worry me when people are so, uh, have to declare a commitment to a certain field and work and study exclusively in that field for the rest of their lives. Because I, I do believe in the educational process. I don't think we, as we were discussing, we don't have it right yet, but I do think that the, at least in the US at our colleges and universities, we do a pretty good job, much less good job in high school and, and, and uh, elementary school. Um, but um, uh, I, I certainly believe that, uh, that it's important to have a, a broad grounding just because life is more enjoyable if you know something about art and history and literature and music in addition to knowing something about science. I also think it enriches the scientific experience because um, I, unlike what many people in the public probably think, um, scientists don't spend every minute working in their laboratories. Moreover, the kinds of, of ideas that come from the humanities and the arts uh, play a role in thinking about the meaning of scientific work. That you, know, you look at, at uh, an experimental design in a different way, you write papers in a better way. Uh, I, I simply think that the learning the tools of the arts and the humanities um, is a, a very, very good preparation for work in the sciences.